we're going to talk about the Surgi Blaster P30. This is the smallest granulometry and this is the color code that you have on the outside box so you can actually identify it very nicely. This is the blue one. So we open it up. This is how it's presented. We have the tags over here. One is to give to the patient if you want, and this is for the chart. So you can actually remember the lot and everything else. Expire date. And we can open this up real quick. Remember that the inside is a sterile. Um, it's a sterile thing. So we open it up. This is how it is. In the inside, we find two dappins, so we can mix it, and these are sterile. We are going to find a regular vial, which is based, it's actually basically a, a physiological solution, and the fast liquid, which is um, potassium ions that helps speeding up the um, hardening process of the dye material. Then here we have the mixing uh, pipes, and here we have hemidrate calcium sulfate powder that we can use as a membrane on top of the defect and we can also use it during our apicoectomy in the bone crypts in order to have the bleeding under control and do our apicoectomy right. And finally, we have the vial that has two milligrams of biomaterial. And as you can see, I want you to remember that these granules are the smallest. They go from 0 0.25 to 0 0.5. And we use this in small defect, non-critical defects, so minor than uh, 5 millimeters in diameter, so aesthetic areas and also small cysts or bone crypts. We can open it up. It might be tricky in the beginning, but you can actually peel it very nicely. If you cannot peel it nicely, you can use a little instrument to help you with the metal bend. Then we have the sterile dappens. We can pour the biomaterial directly as everything is sterile with a clean pair of gloves and we can pour just the right amount that we need in order to use it in the right amount. We can close this up, we can sterilize this, there is no problem. And we can use it for other cases. But we have to remember that we have to be very careful with touching it with the right gloves. Here we have the pipe. In this case, I'm gonna use the regular, since it's a physiological solution. And you have to mix it very easily, drop by drop, in order to not give it the too liquidy um, kind of a texture. You want it to be uh, really fluffy, but not too soft. Remember that when you want to do this, you have to incorporate all of the granules. And this is the kind of consistency that you want to reach. Okay, let's take it off. And this is how it is. You can see that it actually doesn't move, but remember to put your hand beneath it so you can move around without wasting any biomaterial. In alternative, especially in the lower defect, remember that this is plastic and it's sterile, so you can actually pour the material directly into the defect without having to move it around. So you can actually drag it down and put it inside the defect. Okay, so this is the little vial with the uh, powder and we can use it as a membrane on top of the defects to seal the granules inside, especially if we don't want to use membranes or we don't want to use collagen uh, on top of the defect. We use the FAST and I told you it's like potassium ions that help the hardening process to speed up. That's why it's called FAST. Here, when we mix it, of course, we have to be careful with how much liquid we want to place because we don't want it very liquid. Again, we want it like in form of a little kind of cement and we want it to adapt. So also here we have the liquid and we have to incorporate all of the powder over here. Very easy. You can do it with this one. You can do it with another spatula 
but this is mono use so it's really really easy and this is the kind of consistency that you want to reach you can again spin it around it doesn't move it sticks to it and you can bring it around or actually pour it as i showed you before 